Hey everybody, what's going on? Brent here, good to see you as always. Uh, welcome back. Uh, this weekend we are out of Piedmont Dragway here in North Carolina. Uh, they're hosting a two day event, uh, Saturday and Sunday. So today's Saturday, so this will be one video and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow. We're gonna race again on Sunday and we'll post that video. Uh, there are a couple money races that we did enter. Uh, looking at the competition though, these are some serious race cars and uh, they're running fast, uh, running fast in the eighth. From from my guesswork, I'm seeing cars in the low fives. So I don't think we're going to stand a chance. I don't think we're taking home any money uh, this weekend. But there should be some good races, and they're also doing testing too. So we're going to get out there on the track. We're going to run a couple people and, and just kind of see who we can find and see what kind of cars are out there to run. So hopefully there's some quick cars. Hopefully I get paired up uh, with uh, one of these faster cars, and, and you know we can do a testing tune run there. But I don't know. I don't know what we're going to see, so stay tuned, and I'm sure it's going to be a blast. All right, everybody, while we're sitting here, it looks like we might be on a rain delay. Uh, this is going to be the first round. All steel, all glass. I got paired up against this white Mustang 5.0. It's pretty built. Uh, he's got knots. He's got a parachute, so he's, he's got to be fast. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe we can beat him down the track. Maybe I can get out in front of him and, and hold it, but... Um, I don't know. I, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what happens with the rain, too. So we'll be back. Hi, future Brent here. What the f is right? What happened? So, so let's think about this for a second. Uh, we got called to line up. I drove over, turned on drag strip mode. The batteries got ready. Peak performance was enabled. Uh, right before we were about to make our run, it started sprinkling and they shut the track down. Now we ended up sitting there for about 40 minutes before the rain stopped and they got the track dried and prepped and, and we were ready to go. But that whole time, I left drag strip mode on. Now, I've heard rumors, if you leave it on for too long, it has some adverse effects. Uh, you can lose some time, some speed, etc. cetera. Um, so I, I really think that's what happened. I don't think the tires were spinning. I don't think it was because the track was wet. Let's look at the video again real quick. If I zoom in here on the center screen, as soon as the tree drops and I hit the accelerator, the car goes from a follow to a top-down view. It says stop. I get these red bars and the car just absolutely does nothing. So I, I really think it was just, I left drag strip mode on too long. Again, I didn't hear or feel the tires spinning. If you know what this means or, or, or why it did this, drop it down below in the comments, please let me know. I'm, I'm anxious to hear what your thoughts are. Um, watch the, the dragon video. I'll put that up here in just a second. You can hear the tires don't, don't spin. There's no loss of traction. I don't think this is a traction control issue. I think this is a computer issue. So after the run, I'll put the time slip over here. We ran an 8.2 something at 114, I think. And when we got done with the run, I was driving back to line up for the next race. I turned off drag strip mode, waited about 10 seconds, turned it right back on. It went back into the calculating, said nine minutes until peak performance is ready. So again, I really think this is a computer issue, just leaving it on and not driving, uh, leaving it on that long without driving. I think that's what confused the car. So didn't really have any issues after that. I made sure I turned off drag strip mode in between races and didn't have the same problem again. So anyway, watch the Dragon video, uh, watch the Mustang just blast off and disappear into the distance as it leaves us behind. Uh, makes the plaid look slow. You can hear the announcer calling out the price of the car, which made this defeat even worse. Uh, but uh, anyway, we'll, we'll get through this one and we'll move on to the next race. So that was absolutely 
ridiculously horrible. Um, I have no idea what happened. I think just sitting there with the rain delay, drag strip mode on for so long, uh, the car just was asleep. Uh, I mashed the pedal and it went nowhere. So we're out of that one. That's okay. Uh, we got this other one that we're in. So we're about to run the first round uh, of the second class. And hopefully the car responds. I recycled drag strip mode and it's saying six minutes. But what's crazy is it, it was ready. I turned it off, turned it back on, it said nine minutes. So uh, I think something might have been wrong, but we're gonna take a look and see. Uh, they're rolling up, they're lining up, and uh, we'll, you know, we'll go from there. So see you here in a bit. goodness what what do you want me to say a hey, fast that car's fast uh we ran a 618 and he made us look slow 618 is beating people all day long uh except for when you're going up against these guys so let's take a look at the dragon footage again i'm gonna slow it down for you and remember the drag is about half a second slower than real world so the numbers aren't going to line up but he jumps out and he hits the 60 foot blocks at about a second, 1.1 maybe. He continues down, we'll pause it right when he hits the wind lights, and the drag is showing 3.5 at that second. Four seconds. He ran the eighth mile in four seconds. So, needless to say, our racing was done for the day, but we did have Justin with his uh, Hellcat Red Eye out there at the track with us, and we got some good runs in. So let's take a look at those. State of the end, we did have our fastest pass in the plan yet to date, and I'm going to share that with you, but check out the races with Justin. All right, so I think that's about enough beating up on Justin for the video. He was a good sport about it. Uh, we did want to run the cars together and see how the, the Hellcat Red Eye stacked up against the Plaid. And just like always, the Plaid makes everyone look slow. Just like the other guys made the Plaid look slow. But he kept getting better and better with his launches. And so I, I think he's going to be able to hit that 6-7 time that he claims the, the Red Eye can run. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure we're going to run those again. But like I said earlier in the video, we ran the fastest 8th mile pass that we've run in the Tesla Plaid to date. Unfortunately, I didn't have the cameras on the car. I didn't have the draggy app. I, I have absolutely zero proof other than this time slip right here. So I'll throw it up on the screen so you can see it. 
but we ran a 6004 at 120.83 miles per hour. So we almost broke into the fives. 60 foot time was a 148. So that was a great pass. We used launch control, had the drag strip mode on, it, peak performance was enabled, we were 100% ready to go, and it was it was just a great pass. So we're going to see what we can do about dropping into the fives. We're going to lose some weight, we're going to get some, some new wheels, lighter wheels, and, and some stickier tires, something like that. But uh, if you like what you saw, as always, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Give the video a thumbs up so YouTube knows to show other people what we're doing out here. and. Uh, drop a comment down below. Tell me what you thought about the video. Tell me what you think about the new helmet mounted cam. Uh, that was a first person view I was kind of trying out. Uh, let me know if you liked it. If you didn't like it, uh, maybe we'll bring it back. Maybe we'll get rid of it and we'll go back to the other way. Uh, we're probably not going to run at Piedmont anymore. Uh, I just didn't like the way they ran things. It was slow. There was a lot of wasted time. So the Sunday video that I talked about is not going to be coming. We just we didn't go back. But we are going to be going out to an autocross event. Uh, this upcoming weekend, also a two-day event, Saturday and Sunday. Hopefully we get some good footage there and you can see how the car actually handles. So stay tuned for that. As always, it was great seeing you and we will see you at the races. Have a good one.